Hi there, this video is going to be a little different. Discussions about the meta often focus on a snapshot in time, heavily influenced by the current state of the CN version of the game. Since the CN server is about a year ahead of the global servers, it can be helpful to have a preview of what's coming. However, this can also distort perceptions of units that were once meta but no longer are. With that in mind, I wanted to create a timeline of how the CN meta evolved and shifted. The goal is to not only reflect on the current state of the game, but also to understand the value older units had upon their release and how long they stayed relevant. To achieve this, I analyzed a year's worth of Billy tier lists and team guides from two prominent CN content creators whose recommendations have also shaped global community opinions. I assigned numeric values to characters based on their tier at a given time and generated a racing bar chart to illustrate the data. For more details about the methodology, please check the video description. Keep in mind that these values are approximations and should not be taken as absolute fact. Instead of narrating throughout the entire video, I provide key insights and pointers at the bottom of the screen, highlighting important moments and shifts in the meta. Keep in mind that the character release order differs on the global side, so not everything will translate one-to-one -to, -one to our version of the game. With that out of the way, I hope you enjoy. See you in a bit. しがらみを振り切ってみせる。
今年は睡眠ノルマを達成できなかったやしなくてもいいんだよ。And with that we've arrived at the current state of the game. I hope this history lesson helps you appreciate just how much has changed over recent months and highlights how difficult it can be to evaluate a character's worth on the global timeline. If you were to focus solely on the current meta units, you might decide to hold off on pulling or building characters for a long time, only to discover that by the time those meta units you were saving for arrive on global, they're no longer relevant on CN. To illustrate this further, I'll show you another bar race chart that highlights the lifetime investment value for each character. For this chart, I've accumulated the value over time with a small decay factor, so that it takes about a year for a character's prior ratings to become irrelevant. Naturally, this approach favors older units over newer ones, provided they had some relevance in the meta at some time. But that's exactly the point. A character who remains useful for half a year longer shouldn't necessarily be dismissed upon their global release. Alternatively, you could go all in on the power creep characters like Luke or Springfield and ignore the rest. A valid strategy, though it requires plenty of patience and dedication. Ultimately, it's your game and you should play it the way that's most enjoyable for you. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I'm curious to hear your thoughts now that you, hopefully, have a better understanding of the history of the CN version of this game. Has this changed your perspective on upcoming characters or has it reinforced your prior beliefs? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear your take. As a bonus, I run the previous meta bar race chart in parallel for each category. If you had trouble following along earlier, this might make things clearer. In any case, thanks for watching, see you next time.